Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given triangle ABC and we are given that side BC is equal to 12. We are asked, what is the length of AD? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in the rest of these angles. So for triangle BDC, the angles inside this triangle, called B, D, and C, right? There's two angles that you could call angle B, but we're just focusing on this triangle right now. These angles all add up to 180 degrees, right? The, ang the interior angles for a triangle are always going to add up to 180 degrees. So angle B, we don't know. Sorry, that equals to plus angle D, we're told is a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. And angle C, we're given is 60 degrees. So angle B plus 90 plus 60 is 150. Therefore, angle B. We subtract 150 from both sides. Angle B is equal to 180 minus 150, which is 30 degrees. So angle B is 30 degrees. And then we have the other triangle. Firstly, this angle right here. If we know that this angle plus this angle form a straight line, right? That means they add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, a angle A, D, B plus angle B, D, C equals 180 degrees. And angle B, D, C, that's this angle we were just talking about over there, is 90 degrees. So angle A, D, B plus angle B, D, C is 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Subtracting 90 from both sides, we get angle A, D, B is equal to 90 degrees. So it is also right. And then a similar thing here, where we have the last angle of a triangle is um, unknown. And you can do the similar thing here where they all add up to 180. But you can notice the angles in this triangle are the same. So we have 30 and 90, 30 and 90. And if they both add up to the same amount, that means the last angles have to be the same too. So this is 60 degrees. Okay. Now, we have a couple options here. You can use trigonometry to find this line, which is shared by both triangles, right? And I'm not gonna get into how you would do it, but you would find that this is six root three, and then you can use that to find this angle. But we don't actually need to do that. There's a much faster way, right? That's sort of the standard procedure for finding the side lengths of triangles. But if there's a faster way to do it, we can do it. We have to notice that 30 plus 30 is 60. So we can think of this whole angle as 60 degrees. It's a little bulky to draw it in that way, but we have this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees. Therefore, this is an equilateral triangle because all of the angles are the same. Therefore, all the sides are the same. So AB is 12 and AC is 12. And this line is bisecting the side AC. How do we know this? Well, because it's creating two equal angles, therefore it's going to create two equal projections of those angles, two equal sides, therefore AD is equal to DC. And if we know AD plus DC is equal to the whole thing, which is AC, we know that they are equal to 12 And if we know that AD is equal to DC, you can think of this as like plugging in a variable um, using substitution. So let's say DC is equal to AD, therefore we have AD plus, and then plug in AD for DC since they're equal, is equal to 12. 2 AD is equal to 12, dividing both sides by two. AD is equal to 12 over two, which is six. In the triangle above, what's the length of AD? AD is equal to six which is going to be B. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.